Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds of middleweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. He's showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. Silk's coming down to the ring now. And what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Able to cover up that gut. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. And he's holding. Good exchange, he fires back. Right to the belt line. After feeling that uppercut, able to land the jab. What a big shot! That hook right on the gut. Halfway through round number one. Now he ties up there. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Silk. You're taking too many punches. Hands up, hands up. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Go, go, go. Let it go. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Good job staying away from the danger there. Silk's effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that last round. No doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Listen, I want you to pick me.
This is yours, you hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points like that and keep throwing punches. Breathe. Breathe in. Take a deep breath. Great job, man. Here we go. Round two is underway. Now hugging on the inside. It's all right. Just keep moving. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. Locks that punch. Keep working the body. Keep working the body. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming I'd in that front off. door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Not able to land the headshot. Well played, straight right hand. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Silk's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Halfway through round number two. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Silk. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on. Did you see that? He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. One, two, three, four. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Silk's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. A nice block by Silk. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Ten seconds to go in this round. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Missed the target with that hook. Hook! Hook! Scored well with that right hand to the body. Head movement, head movement. Now look at him. He Take does not Take look good on the back end of that Wake hook up. coming home. Wow! He was able to get up and continue on last time. 
now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. A headshot blocked. Well, you can just tell that he's unable to keep up this kind of a pace early on. You can see that these punches aren't what they were. So that's part of the equation. You go out there and you can chuck leather at your opponent, but your opponent, he can handle it if he wants to. He can deflect it, and then he starts coming back with his own. And then what happens? You get tired, you start left giving up. Left and right, left and right. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Not much action as he just ties up. Yeah, baby, good work, good work. Pace yourself. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Silk. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Focus. Punch. Punch. Scores well to the head with the right hand. That hook was well off the mark. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Nice job snapping those jabs by Silk. Watch the hook! How you doing? Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Keep working the jab. Good job. Deep breath. You're in control of this fight, but don't get careless out there. Keep boxing smart. Relax. Now you got to relax, all right? You're doing great. Teddy's got this fight three to zip. That's easy to see. Silk's been the more active guy. If you throw more punches, you're going to earn the judge's respect. As long as the other guy's not landing the cleanest shots, even though he's not as active. But this is the kind of fight where he's just busier, he's doing more, and that's carrying the rounds. You need to keep that head moving. Well-targeted left hand by Silk. Gets rid of that effort. Face yourself. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts Work rushing body, at the guy, kid. starts body acting shot. in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. him holding on 90 seconds to go in round number four hook. Hook. oh he is stunned he could go down Keep moving. Keep moving. 
Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. She's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Uppercut! His opponent has to be getting frustrated here. He had his man down, but now he keeps getting tied up. Look, I'm frustrated watching it. I don't care about his opponent. I don't have any pity for him right now because he's allowing himself to get frustrated, allowing himself to get tired. All he has to do is rotate those shoulders back a little bit, push off a little bit, create room. Counterpunch by Silk. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Silk's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Side to side, all right? Keep moving. Now don't let him get that power shot off, all right? Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. As soon as you start. All right, listen, stop waiting on him. All right? You're waiting on him. I, I, mean, I, I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on go. him. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road left with a lot right, of hope, a right. lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities yeah, not on the front end, but on the back end. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Pace yourself. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. There you go. There you go. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Silk. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Focus. Fires right back at him. Unload! Unload! More punches! Protecting his head well with his guard. Silk's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is. And specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached. They're up around his chin. His elbow's in. You know, he has a real Pace shell yourself. there that's not easy to penetrate. Enough focus! Good looking counter punch. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Keep 
doing what you're doing. Keep that jab pumping, then throw the lead right hand. You winning this fight hands down, baby. Right. That was good. That was real good. You took a lot out in that round. Now keep that up. The start of the sixth round. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Silk. It's okay, let's go. Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. He missed with that headshot. Keep working the body. Keep moving. Keep moving. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. And he just holds on there, reaching the halfway point of round number six. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top. You know, we look at the punches going array. They're going left, they're going Focus. right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. Engages in the clinch. In and out. In and out. <laughs> Unload. Unload. Final no 10 seconds. Really nice round out of him right there. And yeah, we haven't been able to say that much. I think that was by far one of his better efforts. He won that last round. He is trailing on the scorecards, but I do believe he won that last round. Yeah, well, what I like the most is he could have easily, you know, he could have capitulated a little bit. He could have, you know, spit the bit a little bit. You're not supposed to, but hey, these are human beings. They do it. He could have gotten frustrated. He's not. He's got himself together. He's acting like a pro. He's doing what he needs to do to get back in his race or back in the fight. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Silk's dominance in the first half of this fight was pronounced. Now, as this round begins, a new task for him. Finish up the second half of this fight just as strong. Yeah, that's a good point, Joe. His enemy is not only the guy in front of him, but it's feeling hey, that he's got such that. a lead. You know, his enemy is having such great success so far. Does it get him a little bit into a lull? If he gets into a lull now, he could blow that first half of the fight, what he's done so well. Nothing there on the punch by Silk. <laughs> They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Staying away from those head shots with his defense up top. You're not focusing. Right, 
Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. One, two, one, two. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Great movement to get away from those punches. Halfway through the seventh round. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Silk's chosen a path here where he will not stand toe to toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is. He's using those feet. He's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use them. He has to make sure that he breaks it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go out there now. Come on now, let me see. Coming towards the end of the seventh round. Ten seconds to go. <sighs> and that's the end of round seven. Keep hunting him down, all right? Cut the ring off and move him into the ropes. I want you on this guy. Listen. Listen to me, you're not working. You're not working on anything we work on. Turn those punches over. Turn them over. I want you to use all that power. Turn those punches all the way. Close fight here tonight as we have round number eight underway. Silk's enjoying a slight lead on Teddy's scorecard, but I've been concerned with how much he's been easily tagged tonight, Teddy. Well, that's when he goes into that peek -a He goes into that peek -a He doesn't move his head. He's stationary, and his opponent's been taking what he's given him. to show you his blocking ability. Work the and now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Double jab right to the face. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. The halfway point of round number eight. Relax, relax. Stay away from those. Come on, now. 
Silk's able to avoid that punch. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. Now, this fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Come on now. You want to get back into this fight. You got to keep working. Just go. keep working. Working that jab. Work that body. Don't let him rest. You got to keep backing him up. When you get him in the corner or the rope. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round. What has been silk stunned, and he is hurt. Yeah, you got him. Let's go. He is in a real, real bad spot right now. Maybe a punch or two, and he could be on the deck. Oh, boy. He's got to get right to the inside. Just go bear hug this guy. Either that, Joe, or maybe as big a long shot as this might be, his opponent now is coming in there not worrying about him at all. And he's leaving himself a little bit open. Maybe he can oh, yes. land the bomb. He can land a lucky shot. Cover up. Cover up. <laughs> he takes one to give Body one. Shot. He comes Body back shot. with a right hand. Parries that punch intended for the head. <laughs> Able to dismiss that body shot. Halfway through the ninth round. Not an accurate hook at all. More punches. And he ties up on the inside. Pace yourself. Silk's movement's really go. helping him out, avoiding that punch. You're not focused. Hey, keep your hands up. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Silk. Body, kid! Body shots! <laughs> Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Silk's looking really good after that round, Teddy. I think it's a good fight. I think it's a close fight, but I believe it's a fight that he's winning. Yeah, it's the kind of fight, though, that you can't afford to let up at all or do what you just said. Think that you're winning. He can't really think that way. He's got to think that he's got to take one round at a time. The rest of the rounds, he's got to win each one of them. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right now. I need you to move this round, all right? Now move. Now he's coming in. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, 
It'll be closely contested and hard to score. Gets rid of that body shot. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Silk's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Uppercut! Nowhere close that punch by Silk. Silk showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural relax, athletic relax. ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. Left, but usually right, he's not going to have right. a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. And we've reached the halfway point of round Pace 10. <laughs> Focus! See, he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. <laughs> Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit, trying to draw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit, disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Silk's well off the mark Keep that working, time. Buddy. Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. Blocks it away. And round 10 comes to an end. But you gotta keep working. Keep working and this fight is yours. Don't... Are you gonna let your hands go? You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Listen. Good steady work in the recent rounds by him as we look at your scorecard, Teddy. Round number 11 underway, and that momentum that he's been carrying through to this point has evened up the fight. And he has to do just what he's doing, but now it's up to his opponent now to get a little kick in the backside and say, hey, I let him get back into it. I got to get back. I got to pick it up. Hey, I like what I see. I love what I see, baby. And he's holding. You're not focusing. Nice block by Silk. That's Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. <laughs> Blocks that punch. Work the body, kid! Body shots! Good block there by Silk. Hook! Hook! Uh. 
unable to score with the hook. Halfway through this 11th round. Showing you some defense there with the block. Keep moving, keep moving. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Relax, relax. Wow, is he defensively sound. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Let's see some more head movement. Look, you're behind up points. Like, the only way to win this one is a knockout. Keep those hands moving and land a big one. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Keep smart. This is it. Last round, all right? Keep smart, and you got this. Which way will it go? Both men want it badly. Now, the final round. Pace yourself. Focus! Jump on him! Nice! Missing the mark by a mile, that just was nowhere to be found. Way through this 12th and final round. Just a minute to go in this bout. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. And he returns on that exchange. You're not focusing. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Oh, keep working the body. <laughs> Work the body, kid. Body shots. 
That's a good block by Silk. Oh, oh. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. The fight is over, but now the debate begins. Who won that fight? This is where you hope that the criterion for scoring a fight is understood by the judges, because if there's any gray area, you're going to be all over the place in this one. Very hard to pick a winner. This was a sure and steady effort by Silk tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be knockout or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.